All right. So in the last lesson, we looked at what this syntax means, and we learned all about how to combine selectors in CSS code. Now, if you haven't taken a look at that, then I strongly recommend you do because it's really, really useful um, so that you can understand what exactly is going on over here. But now we're going to continue to refactor our code. So the next thing I want to do um, relates to the fact that we've got certain sections on our website that have a colored background where the text is white. And then we have other sections where the background is white and the text is black. So this is a repeated pattern across our website. Website. So I want to capture that and refactor our code to make it a little bit more modular and reusable. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through my code and give each of these sections a class based on whether if it's a colored section or if it is a white section. So the first title section is a colored section. The second section features section is a white section. Um, and then testimonials was colored, I think. And then uh, press was also a colored section. And then pricing was a white section. And finally, the CTA was a colored section. And the footer was a white section. All right, so now all of our sections have a class depending on whether if they should be white or if they should be colored. And if I hit save, I can now go and create some of these sections up top. So just below containers, I'm gonna add another comment that's called uh, sections. And I'm going to add our classes here, the uh, colored section and the white section. All right, so now if we take a look at our code, you can see that for the colored sections, we tend to add a background color of that bright red pinkish color, and then we give the text a white color. Now for the white sections, we tend to just give it a background color of white, and maybe in later on, we decide that we wanna add other changes to our different sections, um, but at the moment, that's basically all that each um, section has. So let's put that in here. So I'm gonna remove these two bits of code, and I'm gonna put it inside the colored section, and then the white section is simply gonna have a background color of white, and now I can go through my code and remove some of the repeated declarations. So in the case of the testimonial section, even though it's a colored section because it has white text and it has a background color, and we've already given it a class of colored section, it is slightly different from the other colored sections because it has this kind of peachy color rather than this bright pinkish red. So what we can do here is, so what we can do here is we can delete the part that's repeated, which is the white text, because it's already in inside a section that has a class of colored section, which has that text color that's applied. But we can override the background color by applying a style to our ID. And it's important to remember that there is a hierarchy between different types of selectors, as we mentioned before. So IDs are the most specific and their styles get applied preferentially over everything else. Then next comes classes, and finally comes these HTML elements. So if I right click and inspect to go into the Chrome developer tools and I select our section here, which is a which has an HTML element uh, of section, class of colored section and an ID of testimonials. You can see that even though colored section is applying the background color of that bright pinkish color, and ID testimonials is applying this more peachy color. You can see that this one gets overridden and it's shown as being crossed out in the Chrome developer tools. So if we didn't have this style that's applied in the ID, which as we said is more specific, has higher ranking, then it would default to the colored section background color. But because we do, then this one is going to override the other color. And it's pretty much the same thing inside the press section as well. All right, so the last one that we have is the CTA section, which we can now basically delete because the section already has a class of colored section. So we don't need to write out that code again. So let's hit save and refresh our website. 
and hopefully absolutely nothing has changed. So we're doing a good job with our refactoring. Now, another thing that you might have noticed up here is that because we're targeting the container that's inside the title section, we don't actually need this extra title uh, ID. We can actually just combine these two into the same selector and we can delete that specific title ID selector. 